What's up, YouTube people? Welcome to Jasmine T TV. I am Jasmine T, y'all. This is the first video on this channel of 2022, and I'm ashamed to say, but Happy New Year, okay? I have not seen y'all, my bad, okay? I did not do any recording whatsoever in January. I was actually home for the holidays in South Carolina. Um, I flew in Christmas Eve, made it just in time, and the day after Christmas, I was exposed to the vid. So yes, Omicron Percy I ate got me. I spent half of January under quarantine. Um, so there was no recording whatsoever. But I will say I'm very thankful because I was still able to work, all right? So if you are new to this channel and do not know, I do work remotely. All I need is my phone and my lap. Oh my gosh, all I need is my laptop and my phone and I am good to go, all right? I will actually link a video above on you know, my transition from my first year as an expat teaching English in South Korea to what I do now, wholesaling mobile homes. And um, it's my company. And yeah, this is what I do now. All right. Speaking of working, earning money, that's going to segue into our topic for today. And that is how to handle money when traveling and or living abroad. All right. So um, today's video is actually sponsored by wise.com, formerly known as TransferWise. And y'all, when they reached out to me and asked, hey, Jasmine, are you interested in doing a sponsored video for wise.com? I was like, yes, because I have been using y'all. Y'all done came through, okay? So I am very happy to talk about this company today. And matter of fact, uh, when I mentioned I mentioned to a friend that I was going to do this video and working with wise.com and she was like, girl, I use them too. She uses them every month uh, to pay her bills and she is satisfied as am I. Okay. So very happy to share this with y'all today. So I will be referring to my notes just a bit um, because I got a lot going on. So what is wise.com exactly? And this is straight from them. It is an international account for over 50 currencies with fast and in some cases, instant transfers that are super cheap. You also get a card to spend in any currency and international account details that allow you to get paid in 30 different countries like a local. You can set up direct debits to pay your bills in different currencies as well. Wise is on average seven times cheaper than old school banks when you send, spend, or withdraw money around the world. So for those of you who are currently or have a plan to live an international lifestyle, a lifestyle, that digital nomad lifestyle, travel, study abroad, all of these features may come in handy, okay? So if you are interested, if any of these features pique your interest at all, if you are interested, um, there is a sign up link in the description box in the comment section. I'll also put it in the comment section below. This is my personal referral link, okay? Use that one. All right, if you are interested. Um, like I said, my personal referral link, when you use this link, your first transfer will be free up to 500 GPB, 500 pounds. Y'all, I'm American, so I'm low. I, I say dollars. 500 GPB, which is valid for new WISE customers only. All right, so that's WISE. All right, so WISE.com has all of these features, but I will be the first to tell y'all I don't use all of them, okay? What I use WISE for is to transfer money from my American Wells Fargo account to my Polish Millennium account. And the way that I actually found them, I've been using them, like I said, since 2018, October 2018 specifically, and I was looking for a more efficient way to exchange money, okay, to exchange currency, because y'all, the first time that I exchanged currency, I was leaving uh, the U.S. for South Korea. And I called the bank and I was like, I need Korean won. And so I go to pick it up and then I'm like, all right. So I have all of this won in my pocket. Um, I flew across the world <laughs> with all of that in my pocket, kept it on me until I opened my, I think it was a city bank account in, in Daegu, South Korea. And I was like, never again. I'm not going to travel like that again because I was like paranoid with that money on me, right? So first time rookie stuff. Um, but so when I got to Poland, September 2018, I was like, okay, I need to find uh, an efficient way to exchange money, to get money to this bank account. Um, and I wasn't interested in those ATM fees or those international purchase fees, okay? So uh, I just Googled and at the time it was TransferWise, now it is wise.com. I found that company and like I said, y'all, I've been using them ever since, okay? Come back. All right. So, um, and by the way, you might be thinking, well, do I need, like, do I need a local bank account? Because I'm talking about, of course, my Polish bank account. Um, and it depends, right? So I 
needed a Polish bank account um, because especially if you're going to apply for residency in a specific country, they may require you to have a local bank account. So for my Polish um, residency card, my Karta Pabitu, um, when I have to show a certain amount of money in my bank account, they will not consider my American bank account. They don't care about anything else, only what's in my Polish account. So for that one, it comes in handy, right? And I use it for more than that. Um, I also use it uh, to pay my monthly bills, like my rent, okay? So I just do a transfer straight to my landlord from my Polish account. Um, I use it also, uh, of course, for like uh, daily purchases, grocery shopping, when I go to the bar, all right, all that type of stuff. Okay, so um, by the way, and using this app is super duper easy. I'm just gonna open the app real quick and just show you how easy it is to understand. Okay, so we're gonna skip ahead right to the transfer page. As you see, for example, we're sending a thousand USD to get Polish Swati. You can see all of the fees outlined and you can send, you can choose how you want to send it. I always choose the cheapest way, the bank debit, but you can do a wire transfer, debit card, credit card, all right? And please note that you can also see when it should arrive. I filmed this on February 13th and it has it arriving the next day, but please note that sometimes it might take a little longer on the weekend, so make sure you pay attention to that. But this is super easy to use. So I also mentioned that Wise has a card to spend in any currency. I have actually been meaning to order this card. Um, I currently have a card like this through Revolut. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Revolut, but Revolut.com. Um, and my plan is to compare the Revolut card versus the Wise card. I used my Revolut card heavily when I was in Mexico because I didn't have a Mexican bank account. Um, so I use this card because of the favorable exchange rate, international fee, and extra security verification. So I was just swiping uh, my Revolut card left to right. All right. So, um, but I only use it in Mexico um, for the MXN, right? So um, I really like to see how Wise matches up with the Revolut card. Um, as I said, I haven't tried their other products and services yet. So if you have, please let us know your experience in the comments below, okay? Don't forget, y'all, don't forget, if you are interested in using wise.com, don't forget to click on the referral link in the description box and in the comment section below. It's my personal referral link. Once again, remember that new Wise customers receive their first transfer for free up to 500 GPB if you use my personal referral link, all right? So I hope that this is useful slash helpful for all my travelers um, and soon to be expats. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at jasmine_t_tv, underscore TV, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.